Hi everybody! I'm back. If you were here before, sorry. Uh, I was expecting a furniture delivery, but not until one. And it got here early. <laughs> it was one of those things where we had to like let the guys in and they had to come in and assemble it and everything, so... Yeah, and then the internet went out because it just so happened to be the cabinet where our router is, so that got unplugged, so I figured I'll just end the stream and come back later. So here I am. Anyway, well, let's get back to it. So I'm painting some scenes, I'm repainting some scenes, I'm programming some bits, and that is what I'm doing. So if you're here, say hello in the chat, otherwise I'm just gonna talk aloud to myself until someone says something or no one says anything. And we'll just have this little slice of development documented. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I've already done this room. Um, let me go ahead and change this for side plants. Room one. We'll call this left trees. Room one. Excuse me. Right trees, room one. Making sure this is still alpine forest dusk, so that I don't get anything messed up in my other stuff, which is important. <laughs> Alright, so I'll save this, save as, get rid of these, get rid of these, get rid of these, and also get rid of this, and this, for now. So everything else is going to stay the same here. Let's see what we've got on this side now. So left trees room one, right? Left trees one, this one. Left trees room one is this one. So I don't necessarily want to do that. Let's try these, these which will have to be flipped because again, they are on the wrong side light wise. So do that. Just flip that. Get rid of all of the grass because we do not need that grass to mark where we are. So we will save this as left trees room two. Hello Electric Dragon UK. It's not so much a bonus stream as it is a continuation of the first stream because of unforeseen interruption. <laughs> unforeseen incidents, you might say. To uh, reference a classic uh, adventure. <laughs> All right, right room trees one is that one. Left room trees is that one. All right, I don't want to just do like a, a complete opposite of... Oops. Yeah, see, if I do that, that's the opposite, and I don't really want to do that, so... <clears throat> I guess I should do this. So... Let's flip these. Once again, horizontal. Place them in such a way where they don't really affect the main scene here. I mean, I guess they could be... Well, what I don't like is that this is doing this, so let's put these closer here. Make it a little thicker there, and then what I'll do is I'll add some bits of the other trees on the right there, because now we have this open space here that I don't like. So... <coughs> Let me go ahead and see right trees in that one. No, I don't want that one. And I don't want that one. I also don't want those. So you know what? Let's just do this and get these. Actually, let's do a duplicate layer first because I want to make sure. Uh, well, I mean, I'm going to have to flip this anyway if I use it. So Actually, I can just go ahead and adapt this because there's one 
set of uh, one set that I'm not going to use. So might as well just use this as the bit that I'm not going to use. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Apologies if it doesn't. Um, I'm doing only three room configurations, so I don't actually need the fourth set of trees, so that'll do fine for here. Okay, so I'm going to merge this one down with this one. And I'm going to save this as layer properties, right trees, room two. Okay, cool. Now we've got those. Then it's time to fix this. Although this is going to be ground two here. So there, ground two, which is also going to have this background back here, which I need to do. To fix these, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, it's a good thing I only have three because I needed three. Um, so let's go ahead and save that for now. My chatbot still has not. Uh, chatbot still is not working. No surprise there. Oh well, I have 10 steam, or er, steam. <laughs> I'm at Twitter. Why do we have 10 Twitter notifications? Oh good, maybe people will buy Lamplight City now. Anyway, um, yes, good. Not that many sales after that. Good old Twitter. All right, better market, better, some marketing is better than none. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yes, all right, trees, left trees, uh, hue saturation, minus 25. Minus 25. Okay. Same here. Minus 25, minus 25. There we go. Okay. Now. And now it's time for a breakdown. Uh. Right, I had this open for some reason. Oh, right, because I took the side plants from here, but no more. Now I need to have grave open because I still need to take the colors from here. And that. I like that, actually. And make this a little bit brighter. Why not? Okay, so we have determined that the golden hour threshold is about here. So we'll start from here. From 
here, thereabouts. So let's go ahead and do that. And I am painting on the right layer. No, I am not painting on the right layer. Surprise. Good thing I checked. That would have been really embarrassing. Let's get rid of this, actually, for now. So I don't make that mistake again. Okay, uh, now let's try that with this here. Just a try. Hello, Jericano. Welcome. First time chatter. I am doing perfectly fine, Slacks. Uh, if you're wondering about what happened before, I got a furniture delivery and then knocked out the internet and, uh, because the cabinet that was delivered was replacing the cabinet where our router was, so I decided to come back after lunch. So I took a little break at lunch, and now I'm back to it, but otherwise all good. post later. I don't know what I mean by fix that in post, because this is post. again up here. Yes. Lots of work. Well, thankfully the uh, delivery people assembled the new piece of furniture, but we did have to take out the old cabinet, so that was some work. Who's messaging me? Oh, I'm not in streamer mode. I guess I should put streamer mode back on on Discord. Hold on a second.
Alright. Discord is now in streamer mode. So I don't have to worry about my messages popping up. Or you all having to hear the bloop and getting Pavlovianly triggered by thinking, oh no, someone's DMing me. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. Alright, so just to add to the thing here, let's paint these bits of the trunk down here darker. Do the usual trick. New layer. Actually, I'm not going to select all. I'm just going to paint very carefully. And also do it more orange. This is essentially where the thing is. And here as well. Okay, now let's do a soft layer overlay, rather. Nope, that is not the right color. Let's make it brighter. It's more like well. I think that's a little better yeah yeah it's a little better okay but I do not want it so much here so erase some of it here Right. All right. So that goes on here. Boom. Oh, some halos. Of course, there's halos. But you know what? I don't care. I really don't. Now, for the other side of the coin, the blue. Oh, because I'm erasing, that's why. <laughs> of course. That's what. It, that's why the halos happen. Because of that. So, I guess I need to. Guess I need to do the old. Select all. Just leave the halos for the end, or the edge, thing. Okay. 
not so bad. Okay, now for the other highlights. Tar -tar -tar -tar. <laughs> On the trees. Just to make them stick out a little more. The rim lights, as it were. Also, I'm definitely thinking ahead here, and I'm not going to animate these. It's going to be a still day in the forest. Because <laughs> this is a single object, and I don't feel like doing all the different object parts for this scene, especially since you're only going to be in it for a short amount of time. So, not going to juice this one up. Which would require many more moving parts, and this room already has enough objects, so I'm not going to test the AGS limitation of 40 objects per room. So, it'll be fine. Maybe I can animate other stuff, but not the trees. Or I can do the, the old trick of just faking the animation of the leaves and not animating the actual pieces that I'm drawing here. So, there's that. Alright, so how about this here? Let's do the same here. Two, that's gonna take care of everything later. So now right trees room two, same deal. Except here is interesting because these are all regular trees, so I don't have to do any of the usual stuff I've done. So I'm just gonna do this. Select all BM layer new. And just go ahead and do the golden hour layer over that. Slightly brighter, slightly more yellow, and just on the side there, so we definitely have a stopping point on these things. here with the dark painted on the wrong layer again <laughs> oh no what did I do and I haven't saved in a while and I messed everything up well crap <laughs> when did I last save I hope I saved after I finished this side oh well we'll figure that out now I did Good job, me. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, good. Because I wasn't too happy with how this was turning out anyway. <laughs> so, just as well. Select all. Let's do that again. But this time, let's do a separate layer here. 
I'll do my hard light layer first. Just so I can have that ready to go. And then I can figure out my highlight layer after that. Oops. Actually, I think I had a layer, I had a proper layer before that, I think I just thought I didn't. But whatever, it doesn't matter, I wasn't too, I wasn't happy with how it was looking anyway, so it's just, just as well that I redo it. Okay, so, there's that, let's merge that down, and now a new layer again. more yellow and have that be better looking. So let's see how it looks. How does that look as an overlay layer? Better. Okay. Let's just do this as an overlay layer. It'll help me while I'm painting. That's too yellow. <laughs> okay, well, that's obviously too yellow. So let's adjust the brightness and the contrast. Make it a lot brighter. Lower the contrast a bit. There we go. And that'll do. And then I'll just throw in some yellow highlights above that. But first, let's erase this here because that's too much, too low. There. Ugh. Well, whatever. It's fine. Excuse me. I do not like the halos. Papa. Papa, I do not like the halos. Well, you're gonna get them anyway, kid, so... Stop complaining. This should be more yellow, I think. Because right now, it's looking like snow or other things. I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look like the sun shining on the trees. Okay, I think that's that for that. <laughs> that's that for that. Ba bam. Okay, so <clears throat> that'll be room two, which I will now save as room two. Dusk. But then I have to go and add some stuff. Some extra objects, but that's fine because then we'll just do room three and it will be done. Room two, dusk. Okay. And now we move on to get rid of this.
this. We get rid of these. We change this from ground three to ground from ground two to ground three. Grand Prix. What? <laughs> and uh, let me go ahead and put some shading here. Down here. Erase, erase, erase. Ba bam. Okay. Uh, also, shadow here because tree. Okay. Now, left trees. Those are the ones I just painted. I don't want those. This is fine. I'll take these. And we have right trees three which is exactly what I just painted from the other one, but Right Trees 3 needs to flip because they're facing the wrong way. So we flip them horizontal. Let's move this over this way because I feel like it... Actually, I feel like just having this one tree. I don't want to deal with that too much because I have something else I can fit in there. So now I erase this. Grass. So this is right trees room three. But first, but first, but first, actually here, let's move that there. That's better. No tangent there. Okay. Uh, image adjustments, hue saturation, minus 25, minus 25. there. Good. And now uh, we rename this to layer properties, right trees, room three. And we take these left trees one and we put them over here. And of course we flip them because the light has to be in the right direction. And we make them smaller. So we have some interesting stuff happening in the mid-ground. Uh, yes, okay, so we got that. And we erase the grass. Because nobody wants that. Okay, and then for left trees one, we also flip flip no that's the wrong layer I didn't want to flip those left trees 2 is the one that I wanted to flip in fact so we flip this horizontal okay we have that there we push this over here so that it's not overlapping too much and being too similar to the other ones so we keep that there get rid of a little bit of that we get rid of a little bit of that. Perfect. Okay, now we have a third forest composition scene full of cannibalized objects. <laughs> so we make that left trees room of three. And we adjust the hue and the saturation and the lightness. Well, rather we, we adjust the saturation and the lightness, but not the hue, because the hue has to stay the same. So, ah, uh, yeah, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now the usual painting stuff. <laughs> I erased too much of this, so now I have to add more shadow. Because otherwise it's going to look weird. So we'll put this in here, make the shadow there. This is other dynamics, yes, yes. Okay, put a little shadow there. I could actually draw this on the ground three layer, but now that I know that I'm not gonna use it anymore, or now that I know which rooms specifically are being used, but I'm not for whatever reason. Oh well. I'm sure this won't come back to bite me. Let's put it on ground three. 
but first, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Do it on round three. There. Is this still... No, it just happens to be there. That's funny. <laughs> okay, close enough. Uh, quick shadows. It's time to golden hour it up. First, I'm gonna stretch. Ooh. Oh, man. It'll be nap time soon. <laughs> All right. Orange ish. Orangish or light brown and yellowish. Okay. Let me get rid of these to make sure that I'm painting on the right layer. Uh, right trees room three. So those will cover the those will cover part of those. So that's fine. And let's start with this one over here because it's the closest to the edge of the screen, and so it's the best one to test how it's going to look. And we have other dynamics on. Remember that the bottom of the light is about here. That's how we do that. This is also sticking out. I didn't see that before. There. Pay no attention to me turning my head to see what angle I should be painting at. It's one of my little weirdnesses. Okay, that's that'll do for a start. And the rest is all there, so yeah. Okay, um, so yeah, all I need to do now is actually before I do that and I lose the palette, let's go ahead and do that on this tree over here too because I don't want to have to guess again.
Now, of course, to make it pop more, we gotta make the rest of the tree dark. halos if at all possible actually first I'll do the shadow layer because that makes things easier to draw I mean it makes things easier to highlight rather once you know where the darks are nope that was too much That's not where that needs to go. <laughs> please or at least a minimum number of them hey there you go there's the trick and the trick is don't blob the edges easy enough right <laughs> you'd think I'd learned that by now
see how that looks. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> and not really many halos, so even better. Alright, so let's do this then. From over here. What kind of tree is that in the middle? Where? What, here? Which middle here? <laughs> it's a tangent tree, this one. I'm gonna have to make it pop so that it, you can actually see it. screen you were on when I asked which middle oh <laughs> um, well I was zoomed in on this one so uh, I don't know it's not a trick I'm sorry <laughs> uh, I don't know that these are I mean I was just kind of going for a general alpine forest look so like deciduous trees conifers pine trees that sort of thing I guess I was just kind of doing variations on pine trees. I didn't have anything specific in mind. It's sort of, you know, geographically supposed to be the, uh, the forests like in getting into Northern California. So there aren't like redwoods or anything because that's Northern Northern California, but like getting from Nevada into like the Sacramento area or more or less, excuse me. <sighs> it really is getting close to my nap time. Grandpa needs his nap. Been a long day of doing not much. <laughs> okay, I think I can get away with that for now. For this here, let's go ahead and add some sunlight here and up here. A long day of talking about furniture, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Long day of talking about furniture and painting trees, which then someday become furniture. It's all full circle. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, I think. Yes, good. All right, and then we get our, uh, we get our dusk shadow layer, which makes it pop even more. And we save it as room three. Dusk room three, I should say. Room three, dusk. Okay, cool. So now I will also save this. But now I need to, I could put it in the game, which I will, but I also want to code it up, so I have to do the extra items that appear in these rooms first. Excuse me. So, I'll do those uh, as well. So for 
Let's go to left trees, right trees, room two. This is room two. What will be in this room? We got, well, hold on. We got left trees and right trees, room one. Let's just make sure that this looks, this matches up. Yes, it does. Okay, good. Uh, I wonder if, well, no. I mean, yeah. It's more dusk now. Okay, so let me open up my script here and see what we need. We need, in room two, I need one, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, this is gonna be fun. So, room one, room one, room two, room two. Okay, so we need some yellow flowers. <laughs> Also, I should probably measure... Actually, let me... Yeah, let me go ahead and import these into the game so I can measure where the walkable areas are and how much of them I'm going to need. So let's save that for the time being. We got room 51, where we have hunt background. And then I also have... I already have flowers here. Hunt background, but do I have what I actually need? Uh, carrot one, two, and three. Okay, so I already have that. I have yellow flowers. I have nest. I have bottle. I have moss. I have. Do I have log? Fallen log. I do. Oh, excellent. Well, great. I have the objects created for these things because I obviously needed to put in their descriptions. So that's cool. All right. So hunt background. Let's set it to. Oh, I need to import the sprites first. <laughs> that would help. Okay, forest daytime. Dusk. All right, so we'll have backdrops and then the rest will be for the items. So I haven't heard back from I, I itch support since Monday. What is even going on over there? Well, that's not good. What? What are you waiting to hear from? Or what about are you waiting to hear? <laughs> okay, so... Forest day, dusk, backdrops. Backdrop one. Okay, so let's get rid of... I don't want to, but... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Four... Okay, four is visible, but I want the thing to be a different view. So let's get rid of boulder and shrine and red flowers. Okay, because those don't belong. And we'll have four, but four's graphic will be another graphic which we need to import here. Dusk. So, 51, 112, room config is equal to 0, oh, oh, 04, dot visible is equal to true, and 04, dot graphic is equal to 3972. 3972. Okay, so hunt background visible is equal to true. Okay, if room config is equal to zero, then O hunt background dot graphic is equal to thirty nine sixty nine. Three nine six nine. Okay, perfect. Else if room config is equal to one and then else if room config is equal to 2 so oh hunt background graphic is equal to 3970 and 3971 
Did I not tell this story yet? Oh wait, no, you came in later on the Theropod stream. So I saw this tweet from George Broussard that was all, don't give me shit for tweeting about my games all the time. Someone new discovers them each time. And I was like, hey, I have games, I should do that. So I did, and Twitter friend bought Perilous Wild for $4,002, accidentally. Wow, that's a hell of an accident. <laughs> Yikes. So I'm guessing you're trying to get them a refund, obviously. got messier, but yes, too long didn't read, trying to refund, and radio silence from Edge. Well, that's no good. <laughs> but, yeah, how much were they trying to pay? 42 cents? <laughs> Four, 40 dollars and two cents? 42, four dollars and two cents? How, how, what was the mistake there? curious. Okay, so, uh, their methodology is confusing now. I don't actually know. I've never actually bought anything on it. Uh, okay, so, h exit one dot enabled is equal to true, and h exit two dot enabled is equal to true. Exit two dot enable is equal to false. You know, I should put something here on the right to indicate that you can't go any further in room three, because that way the player will know that there is no continuing that way. Actually wait, doesn't is the fallen log in room three? No, it's in room two. Well, you know what? I'm going to move it to room 3 so that we have a fallen log that is on the right side of the screen that is blocking all passage to the right. So, problem solved. Alright, so back to here. Uh, anyway, Vire thought the price field would clear when they refocused on it and attempted to enter a different amount and instead added digits. Oh. Okay. Listen, don't be shocked that I haven't bought anything on itch. I don't play games, okay? <laughs> Unless they're on PlayStation. Okay, exit to enabled false. All right, I think that should do. Let's, now let's make sure that the room works. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? At the very base level, I want to make sure that the room works. Also, player footstep noise should be grass. If there, if player dot previous room is equal to one twelve. Yeah, grass because. It'll be grass. Uh, Scooby. <laughs> Scooby dooby doo. I'll reserve my probably shocked expression. Thank you very much. Okay. Fine. Very good.
Wonderful, cool summer day out here in North Carolina. Really, what's the temperature? Here it's uh, 38 degrees and windy, so it's definitely a winter, early spring day. Low 70s, good lord. <laughs> In February? That's pretty bad. Alright, that finally saved. Good. Okay, so uh, if player. Let's get rid of the. Well, let's comment this out for now. Player. Dot foot, player. Footstep noise is dirt. Er, sorry, grass. That's what I meant to say. Grass. Now then, let us... Actually, footstep noise would already be grass, because you're coming from a screen that's already grass, so never mind, that's unnecessary. I'll just comment out the dirt, because I don't need that right now. Okay, so blah 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 blah. So that happens if you click on if you click on these exits. What happens? Right, <laughs> that is a thing. Okay, so if you click on exit two, oh, there you go. There is no interact for exit two. So that's good. Start cutscene. Oh, start cutscene, uh, mouse click, and cutscene. Alright, so we want the player to walk. I want the player to walk uh, 1241, 651. change room fifty one negative eighty six fifty one okay now then this is gonna be interesting uh so Lola doesn't follow you around in this case so uh, huh. All right, well, this will be fun. <laughs> I love figuring stuff out after the fact. Isn't it just delightful? Okay, so uh, hotspots then again here for this one. We'll say interact hotspot. Same difference, except Instead, it will be 1350, and it will be negative 80, and it will be, where's the walkable area? I really wish you could uh, see hotspots and walkable areas at the same time. 
If you don't like learning, I got bad news about it. <laughs> yeah, I've been programming this stuff for years, so I should know better, but I don't. Sixty-six. Let's go with sixty-six. Okay. Now, here we go. So, exit to interact. Start cutscene. Blah blah blah. Okay. So if player previous room, if encounter counter is equal to ten, if room config is equal to zero, exit enabled is equal to false, background is equal to that, if player previous room is equal to 51, which it always will be, then we have Lola change room, see Lola bod dot change room 51. Uh, okay, so else if room config is equal to one, we have C lullabod dot change room negative one. And that should work to get her out of the room and back into the room. And that's only if encounter counter is equal to ten, which is rabbit hunt, just to make my life easier to know which one is happening here because else and this is shrine excursion then we deal with that okay all right so after fade in if player dot previous room okay shrine intro if player previous room is 42 okay player previous room is that if player previous room is 298 so what happens if player previous room is 51 if player dot previous room is equal to 51 we'll start off by saying oops if encounter counter is equal to 10 which is hunting then <coughs> excuse me all right hunting if room config is equal to 2 if player dot X is equal to negative 80 else that all right if room config oops room config is equal to one else if room config is equal to two else oops if room config is equal to three All right, so if room config is equal to two and previous room was it was uh, this one, then we walk over to, ch -ch 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 -ch. I think I said it was 651, yes, yeah. 1180, 651. Player walk. 1180, 651, block anywhere, player face direction down left. Does AGS script have switch statements? I think so. You're gonna have to remind me what a switch statement is. <sighs> so, do, do player.walk. As if we're coming from room three. Yes, yes, we're coming this way. 115, 651. Let's go with 115, 651. face direction down right. Switch is a syntax for a bunch of if statements that are all comparing against the same value. Oh, I'm sure it does, but 
If there are, I don't know how to use them. There's always a way to make my code more efficient. I've learned this. All right, so if we're at negative 80, which is that way, then we do this. And if we are at over here, then we do this again. All right, now. Exit again. Let's go back to the exits. Exit two, interact, car, start cutscene, player walk, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so if encounter counter is equal to 10, and if room config is equal to 0, then room config is equal to 1 or just plus plus. Actually, hold on. I can just do, if encounter counter is equal to zero, just say room config plus plus, if you go to the right. And if you go to the left, same difference, except minus minus. That's easier. Okay, let's test. Let's see if this works. It just seems like that would be better than a whole series of previous room one if previous room is equal to two. Right. Well, we will see if this worked. Check, check, there we go. All right, now I'm back. All right, let's continue to here. That's very slow. <laughs> All right, let's go with rabbit. Okay. There we go, it's dusk now. In the forest. Oh, I forgot to do this again. <laughs> oh well. Alright, so Lola goes up there. Just gotta fix the thing with the following her deal, but let's see. If we go this way, then this should... Alright, there we go. Uh, except <laughs> I got it mixed up, so she walks from the wrong edge of the screen to the wrong edge of the screen. Okay, so there should be a log here, and yes, only one exit here. Oh, well look at that, that works. Only two exits there. Ha, huh. and I forgot to put that there. Okay, well, getting there. Okay, so back here, after fade in. 
After Faded. Where is After Faded? Oh, right, it's down here. Okay, so if room config is equal to 2, if player x is equal to negative 80, then the player should walk to 115. Oh, I see. I did... Why did that not happen? Exit 2, interact, player change room, 51, negative 80, 651, right? And that's what happened, why the, they were there. There should be negative 80, 651. So if... Or did I do that wrong? Hmm, well, hold on. Uh, after fade-in, if room config is equal to 1... Oh, I know why that happens, because room config is 0, 1, and 2, not 1, 2, and 3, so it should be 0, 1, and 2. That's why that happened. Okay, that should work. But now also, uh, if previous room is equal to 112, let's say here, wait... 50, and also under hunt intro we will say in conversation is equal to false, player.unlock view, and that's all we got there, so, fader to transparency, fader to transparency, there we go. All right, let's try that again. And make sure it works this time. Alright, once again, let's see how this works. Very slowly. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay, so now Lola comes in. Harley comes in not so f close. Actually, she should come in even further than that, but we'll do that. So now if we come over here, we can talk to her, right? Uh, what was I looking for again? <laughs> Where is her? 846578. for again and then she can okay. six three four five seven eight characters Okay. 
Big K69 or subscribe. Thank you. Another great month. Give me your highs from this month, but in a Scottish accent. Oh boy. <laughs> Why do you put me on the spot like Well, let's see. Um, highs from this month. Well, my friend Ben came to visit me, and we went around. Around? Oh, no, I can't do a Scottish accent. I'm sorry, I can't do it. If I, unless I exaggerate, if I try and do a regular, a, a regular one. It, comes out terrible. I'm so I'm so bad at the Scottish accent. You're tearing you're tearing me apart, big K six nine er. Uh so Ben Chandler came to visit and we went around and it was a real good time. And uh I got some fur furniture today and I programmed some of Rose Water and there That's we awesome. go. <laughs> Apologies to any Scottish people watching this. I have completely butchered your accent. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Uh, what was I looking for again? Ah, okay, cool. So that works. So she goes to the next room, comes in the right way, very good. She goes to the final room, cool, cool. Goes to the first room, this is very easy, okay, cool, cool. What happened to her shadow? Oh, what what happened? What happened to her head? Why is her head and her shadow and everything not changing rooms with her? Oh, I know why. Because she's in room one. She's in room negative one, all the whole time, and she should be in room. Okay, yeah, I know why this is happening. Okay, no worries. Let's fix that. Um. Right. So she's in room negative one when you go to uh wait but that doesn't make sense she should be mm. oh i know why okay hold on so that should be happening not under room load it should be happening all right it should be happening here happen when you exit the room rather than when the room loads because yes if encounter counter is equal 10 room config minus minus if right so if room config is equal to 1 then Lola bod change room and then she should be correctly placed all right thanks for thanks for stopping by dave or <laughs> good luck with itch and getting that refund
let's continue. So let's try that again. Oh, that's her shadow. That's why it's not... Okay, see, that's... It's also something I need to fix. So she should be there, and she is. And that needs a wait. Alright, so if room config... equal to zero, then C Lola bod change room negative one, and then everyone will change with her, as opposed to again room <laughs> load. Alright, so let me get rid of that. And under global script when she turns around Wait one. There we go. How much of the soundtrack is done for Rosewater? Not a ton. Uh, I just met with my composer yesterday for brunch, actually, and we talked about it. He'll get it done, but. a little differently this time around and that he's going to use live instruments for a lot of the tracks so there aren't any like final pieces yet I have a whole bunch of sketches and stuff but nothing final final yet so I won't be getting that until pretty close to the end but he's still working on stuff so all right there we go shadow's gone which is good More exciting, what did you have for brunch? Just kidding. I had a classic om egg omelet with bacon, mozzarella, and mushrooms. It was very nice. Oh. Uh -huh. Also, her scaling is wrong. I thought she looked kind of giant. Alright, let's fix that. Because she's leaving the room and coming back. 90... 40. Okay, well, let's put her here then. Okay, let's try that again. Just grooving to the music a little here. Alright, let's now try this again. Oh, there she is. She's in proper scaling mode this time. And there she is again in proper scaling mode. Good. So if we talk to her, uh, she is not so tiny. Or, she's not so huge. She's proper size compared to us. Good. Alright, now I just gotta draw all the other crap that we get to look at in this scene. Alright, so walkable areas are pretty straightforward. I don't... As far as she goes down, there's nothing... She goes that far down, so I can put stuff around the screen. It doesn't necessarily have to be, like, in the... on the edges or whatever. Although it's easier if, if she just can, like, come and pick stuff up. So I know for a fact that I can put something here in this little ridge. And I can put something else there in that little ridge. Oh, those halos, though. <laughs> 
Eh, whatever. I can clean those up if I have to, but... Yeah, whatever. And with this background... Yeah, that's there. Alright, can you notice the tree and all the other ones? Yes, you can. It's kind of covered up here, but... Yeah. It's all good. The important thing is that it looks like a forest at dusk. And it does, so... I'm happy with that. So there should definitely be something here because <laughs> there's a clearing here. I guess I can put like the ring of mushrooms or something there. Spoilers, there's a ring of mushrooms. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jarikano or Harikano, however you pronounce that. Is it Jare or Hare or something else entirely? Red sky at night. Yes. It's more of a blue to yellow sky at night with some red clouds but yeah all right let us focus on this so ground two left trees room two right trees room two okay dusk shadow d jer d Right, soft J or hard J? Uh, okay, so we got carrot one, carrot two, yellow flowers, red flowers, and fallen... Okay, we don't have fallen log here. Fine. Okay, so... Dejer... Oh, Dejer? Okay, so like a Dejer... Jericano. Okay. Jericano? <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm butchering your handle. Alright. Uh, let's do this. Let me go to my other background. And I'm going to once again cannibalize. some artwork because why not uh forest no 44 here we go forest riverside forest scrub here we go flowers red all right so i'm going to cannibalize these and i'm going to make them fit into the seen by just <laughs> adjusting the brightness and the contrast, lowering it by 25 and lowering it by 25 and decreasing the saturation by, nope, not desaturate <sighs> gosh darn it and now I messed up Photoshop, here we go Adjust hue saturation. There we go. Saturation minus 25. And now we will see if these fit into the scene. They do. They do, so I will keep them somewhere in here. Actually, they could be a little darker. Or a little more desaturated, I should say. And instead of desaturating, why do I keep hitting desaturate? I hate that. Image, adjustments, hue saturation. 30, minus, let's do minus 40. And let's do minus 20. Actually, just minus 20, minus 20 should be good. Yeah, there we go. Minus 20, minus 20. Cool. All right. Actually, let's do minus 10, minus 10. Minus 10. Minus 10. Okay. And we will save as... Red, flowers red, but under 51. Uh, 
Oh wait, I need to... <laughs> uh, let's create a new folder for Dusk. I know it's called Forest Daytime, and then I have a Dusk folder. That makes total sense, right? Um, what happened there? Alright, flowers red, pink, there. Okay, close. Yes. I'm sure I have flowers yellow elsewhere. Uh, let's go with Danny Riverside. Flowers. Oh, those are blue. And do I really not have any yellow? Fl I thought I had yellow flowers. My flowers orange. Sixty-two because I haven't finished painting that background yet. So that makes sense. All right. Well, guess I have to draw some yellow forest flowers then. Okay. Well, there's something to do. <laughs> or I could just do a placeholder. That always works too. Let's do that. Let me just do a placeholder for now, because I don't feel like drawing the flowers just right now. All right. So sprites, dusk. Put in the red flowers. Forest daytime. Dusk. Flowers red. What you guys is. Oh, very important. All right. Uh, so now, on. objects. Uh, oh, what did you just do? I think my mouse is dying. I don't like it. Alright, so you, instead of 10842, your image is now... The one I just imported, if I can find it. 51... 51... Why does anyone do game development? There we go. Okay. Now you go uh, objects hunt background. We change you to this one so I can see where everything is. We put the red flowers here. Maybe here. Maybe here. Let's put them here. There. That way they're not in the the walkable areas. Yeah, they're definitely not in the walkable areas. <laughs> okay, so uh, objects, oh flowers, red flowers. There they are. So when we load room 51, if room config is equal to this. And we say, oh, red flowers dot visible is equal to true. And now we'll have a player leave room to leaves room. We say, oh, red flowers dot visible equals false. Always. All the time. So what happens when you interact with the red flowers? Definitely not these, she says. Okay, so I'll have to find where she walks to.
Well, this is taking its sweet time. <laughs> As always. Yep. Waiting is the hardest part. <sighs> it's my PC. Because when I save upstairs, it saves really fast. It's just this PC doesn't seem to like the big sprite file on this game. Okay. So now we do this all over again. So we got go red flowers red flowers in the morning red flowers at night so we can have her walk over here and look and go definitely not these or she can walk from over here 458 578 I guess this is pretty much coded, so for now. <laughs> so I'm gonna end the stream here because it's nap time. I'm getting I'm getting cranky, so I need baby needs his nap. So thank you all for sticking around. For those of you who came to both streams, thank you for both stream for coming to both streams. I will see you on Wednesday, March first, for Wild West Wednesday. See you then. Bye.